Welcome. All right, so what I have here is the point 0.5 comma 12, and what I want to do is show you how to evaluate for the sine, cosine, tangent, and all the reciprocal functions of those two. So to do 5 comma 12, what we first need to do is if we're going to evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent, we've got to make sure we create a triangle. Now, um, when looking at this, to create a triangle, we need to first plot the point. So I'm going to go over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I need to go up 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so that's my point 5, comma 12. Now, when creating a triangle, what we're going to use from a point is we need to create a triangle that's going to have our central angle is going to be our theta. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a direct line, which is going to be perpendicular. That's going to create our straight, our, our 90 degree angle. Then we're going to draw another straight line to our origin. Okay? And that's going to create our angle theta. So we know this distance is 5, and this distance is 12. Now again, to evaluate for sine, cosine, tangent, we know that we have to uh, go ahead and um, know the length of the hypotenuse. So we can use Pythagorean theorem, or if you know that this, understand that this is a Pythagorean triple, you can see that um, the answer is always going to be uh, 13. But anyways, I'll just show you real quick. 25 plus 144 equals c squared. That equals 169 equals c squared. Therefore, c equals the square root of 169, which is 13. And that's a horrible hypotenuse. But anyways, you get your point. So now I have a triangle uh, where my adjacent side, right? because here's my angle theta. So we call this is the adjacent side. This will be the opposite side. And this is what we call the hypotenuse. So now to evaluate for sine, cotines, cosine, and tangent, I need to remember what exactly this sine um, of our angle theta what is cosine of our angle theta and tangent of our angle theta? What are they asking? Now remember, the sine of theta tells us to take the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The sine is the ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent is the ratio of the opposite over the adjacent side. So now to solve these, I simply am just going to take these values and plug them in. So the opposite over adjacent is going to be 12, or opposite over hypotenuse will be 12 over 13. And I can't simplify that any further. The adjacent side is going to be adjacent side. Adjacent side is going to be, what's the adjacent side is 5 over 13. And the tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent, which would be 12 over 5. All right. So there's your main three trigonometric functions. But they're also asking us to find all six trigonometric functions. That's going to include the reciprocal identities. So the reciprocal identities for sine would be cosecant of theta. For cosine, we have secant of theta. And for tangent, we have cotangent of theta. So the reciprocal identities, remember, is going to be reciprocal of the ratio. So therefore, it's going to be hypotenuse over opposite. That's adjacent over hypotenuse. And this is, I'm oh, sorry, hypotenuse over adjacent, and this is going to be adjacent over opposite. So now, simply all I'm going to do is take these as the reciprocal and just rewrite them. So therefore, I have 13 over 12. Here I have um, 13 over 5. And over here, I have 5 over 12. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate all six trigonometric functions when given a point that's not on the unit circle. Thanks. Let's do one more.
Hello, hello, hello.